Hello guys, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks Solution. Today I am discussing an another problem. It is a very important problem. Here we have to find the minimum number of jumps to reach from the starting of the array to the last of the array. If the condition statement is that the max number of steps that can be forward from that element. Mm. Okay, given an array of integer where each element represents the max number of steps that can be made forward from that element. Write the function to return the minimum number of jumps to reach the end of the array starting from the first element. If an array is 0, then cannot be moved through that element. Okay, if first uh, line contains the integer t, it is the order number of rest cases, then following are the integers. Uh, and the n f and contains a sequence of integers a1, 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 Jumps. See out f u and c fun a comma n n is the total number and in there okay. Let's define the Function first in f u n c functions a sorry not a it's in a comma int of n okay now if the initial condition is that if n is equal to is equal to 0 if n is equal to is equal to 0 r a of 0 is equal to 0 then we have to return minus 1 we have to return minus 1 ok now Now we have to create an auxiliary array. Let's call that array we jump and it is of n numbers. Okay. Now jump of zero is equal to zero. Okay. Now we have to take two loops for int of i is equal to 1, we have to start from 1, i is less than n, and i plus plus, and jump of i is equal to int max, sorry, max should be capital, ok, now, for j is equal to 0, j is less than i and j plus plus. Now here we have to implement the condition if i is less than i is less than or equal to j plus a of j then we have to write jump of i is equal to min of jump of j plus 1 comma jump of i 
ओके जंप ऑफ आई विच एवर इज मिनिमम वी हैव टू राइट दैट ओनली अंडरस्टैंड I think it is understandable by you guys. Okay. Now we have to stop this here. It will be done by every element, and each time the jump is stored here, and it will always store the minimum number of value. Understand? Yeah. I think it will be understandable by you because it will it always store minimum number of value, so it is very easy for you guys. So now, what will be the then? What will be the next step for that? Let's make it closer. Okay. This is for this. This is for this, and this is for this. Now, if if there is a condition occurs, if jump of n minus one is equal to is equal to n. max then we have to return minus 1 otherwise return jump of n minus 1 i think the program is understandable by all you all of you let's quickly check for errors I am pretty sure that some of the errors will come. So let's check once for errors. Okay. Is equal to is equal to. Three. Three. First test case passed. Let's compile for all of them. Okay, program runs. Very simple, efficient solution for you guys. So keep watching. Always subscribe for my channel and share this video with your friends to get more updates.